For years now, the Tampa Bay Rays franchise has been trying to figure out their ballpark situation. Ever since their inaugural season back in 1998, the team has called one ballpark home, and that is Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, a field that has basically been clowned on by every kind of baseball fan since. The Rays were an absolute joke of a team for the first 10 years of their existence, but since 2008, they have been one of the more successful teams in all of baseball. They've won a ton, making the playoffs nine times since 2008, two World Series appearances, and just recently clinched a playoff berth this year for the fifth consecutive season. They got a good front office and system going on over there, and despite not really spending much money, they've been able to build a competitive and fun team year after year after year. With that all being said, one thing has remained the same throughout these years, and that's poor attendance. Despite being a good competitive team, the Rays have suffered with bad attendance for really their entire existence as a franchise. Obviously, when they were terrible, you wouldn't expect anybody to go, but even since they've been good, for the last 15 years, they've never had a season with good attendance. Like I said, they just recently clinched their fifth straight postseason berth. Despite this, for four out of these last five playoff bound Rays seasons, with 2020 not being counted because no fans were of course even allowed in, the Rays have been bottom four in attendance. 2023 has been the best as far as these numbers go, but they're still 27th in the league. So the Rays have basically become a laughing stock when it comes to the topic of their fans because not as many people show up no matter the circumstance of the team, so naturally the topic of the team moving has been brought up. People have talked about the Rays maybe being moved to Nashville, maybe Montreal, hell, even the team's owner, Stu Sternberg, came out with an idea to split home games every season between Montreal and Tampa. Pretty wild idea, obviously, one that Rays fans absolutely hated, and I'm sure the people in Montreal also probably didn't like, or at least a lot of them. If you're going to have a baseball team again, why not have them there full time? Splitting home games between not just two states, but two countries is pretty crazy to think about, so it should come as no surprise that that idea never ended up actually becoming a reality. Another big thing being floated around was for the Rays to stay in Florida and in the area they're in now, but just move not too far away. I mentioned earlier that Tropicana Field is in St. Petersburg, so the Tampa Bay Rays aren't even in Tampa Bay. And that's something many gave credit to for why the Trop has such poor attendance. The ballpark itself may not be the prettiest, and it may be one that's the butt of a ton of jokes between fans, but I don't believe that was ever the issue for why not enough people don't show up to Rays games. In theory, a baseball team could play their home games in the most boring, trashy looking field possible, and fans would still show up if the team was competitive. I honestly don't really feel the aesthetic of the ballpark ever actually plays a factor into most fans' decision to go to the game or not. The issue seems to be the location of Tropicana Field. It's not necessarily in the easiest spot to get to for most people in the area, at least for those people to go to games consistently. If the ballpark was actually in Tampa, like the Buccaneers are, the NFL team for example, it would be way easier and simple for people to go to games and go to games consistently. That's really been the general consensus among the fans and people living in the Tampa Bay area that the race should move to Tampa and attendance would be better as way more people would automatically have easier access to go to games. The A's out in Oakland have of course been a train wreck on and off the field these last couple of years with the ownership treating their fans like absolute shit and moving the team to Las Vegas. The Rays, on the other hand, although having been rumored to maybe leave Florida altogether at some point and relocate to a brand new city and state, just recently came out with some really vital news regarding this. Here is what was said in a recent press conference on the Rays franchise potentially leaving Florida. I'm not fucking leaving! The Tampa Bay Rays have struck a deal and will be staying put in Florida. They ain't going nowhere, and it's not like they're staying in their current ballpark forever, too. The deal they recently made is an agreement on a brand new ballpark that should be built and ready for use by the 2028 season. It's going to be a 30,000 seat stadium that includes 14,000 parking spaces, 4,800 market rate residential units, plus 600 at affordable workforce prices and 600 for seniors, 1.4 million square feet of office and medical space, 750 hotel rooms, 750,000 square feet of retail space, a concert venue with a capacity of three to 4,000, and a new home for the Woodson African American Museum of Florida. 
So what the Rays are doing here is not just building a new stadium, but basically their own little fun community around it that goes beyond baseball, where people can live, go shopping, visit museums, stuff like that. So they're going to be improving the fan experience for not just inside the ballpark, but around the ballpark, which is, of course, a wonderful and smart thing to do. The Rays are staying in Florida, getting a nice shiny brand new toy that will also have a nice and attractive area surrounding it. And this confirms that the Rays will be staying in Florida for at least another 30 years after it opens. That's all great news. There just also happens to be one little slight issue that's not so slight. The Rays ballpark deal was made for St. Petersburg, meaning when I say the Rays aren't going anywhere, I mean they quite literally aren't going anywhere. Staying put in St. Pete, but with a new ballpark and outside area. The team is going to be paying for $700 million of the projected $1.3 billion it will all cost, with the city and Pinellas County taking care of the rest of the money owed. Getting a new ballpark is of course a plus. It's going to be much nicer, prettier, and have a much better outside scene, but at the same time, will this really affect attendance in a positive way? It obviously won't hurt it, but like I talked about earlier, with the main reason for poor attendance being the location of the ballpark rather than how it looks, I have a hard time seeing how this is going to boost attendance. All of the new stuff is great and all, but the biggest issue remains the same location. It's going to continue not being easy for so many in the Tampa Bay area to go to games and to do so consistently. I hope I'm wrong. I hope the Rays pack the new ballpark every year once it opens, but in reality, there isn't much that has changed with this deal that helps fans access to games. I'm happy to hear the Rays won't be relocating, and obviously Rays fans must be stoked for this news, as they should be, but will it really help the team's attendance problems? Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.